And we're also learning late this afternoon new information from the Greene County Sheriff's Office about that shooting that killed two people this week just outside of Yellow Springs. The Sheriff's Office says there were two married couples involved in this. And 2 News reporter Judith Rattana is live in Xenia with an update about who the victims are and how well they knew each other. The Greene County Sheriff's Department is identifying those two victims as Cheryl and Robert Sanders, a married couple. Sherry, Cheryl Sander, Sanders being the ex-wife of the homeowner who shot and killed both her and Robert Sanders. Some of the events witnessed by drivers passing by who called 911. I saw a woman jump out of her car like an SUV and this guy told her to stop and he shot like three or four times at her. And there was two people laying on the side of the road and one person had a gun. When police arrived, they found Cheryl and Robert Sanders dead. Their vehicle had a counterfeit temporary Ohio tag. Across from the driveway, they'd set up a surveillance system to broadcast video to a device. We're assuming that the female was sitting in her car watching what's going on. Uh, before she came to the scene. The sheriff's office says Robert Sanders threatened to kill the female homeowner and was shot shortly before Cheryl Sanders arrived. The Sanders were believed to be living out of state, so it's unclear to investigators how long they were in Ohio before turning up at the home. This is not something we see a whole lot of here in Greene County and really I don't know too many times across the, the valley that we've seen this. The investigation is expected to take several weeks. Now from here, investigators and the coroner will finish up their reports and that information will then be sent to a grand jury to determine if there are any charges to be filed for that homeowner who shot and killed the Sanders. The sheriff again uh, inclining to say that this seems to be an ambush setup situation and that the homeowners would, were defending themselves. But they do expect this to be a lengthy investigation. For now, live in Xenia and Judith Cartana, 2 News, working for you.